guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome i will be doing a dip nail video on my very bad bitten nails i do bite my nails uh so this brand i'm going to be using is models ones it's their base and their activator you can honestly use any nail glue to do dip and i'm using just regular acrylic from glam and glitz and i label it r d for regular with the, the monomer and dip they are different numbers because that's how i have them in the book and the color is tulip it is a very fine glitter pink nail acrylic and i'm also using my straight cuticle pusher you can get this I, I love this one because it is a duo you can also remove dip or acrylic or any other type of product as well as clean off the nail and i will be showing you on this video i'm also using this 100 grit file for manicures and my buffer that i also have on my website it will be linked down below if you guys want to purchase any products which i do highly appreciate for those of you that have reached out family friends and my followers I really really do appreciate that so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is pushing back my cuticles and then I go in with the back side of the straight cuticle and just clean off any cuticle that's attached to my nail plate just to loosen it up a little bit I will go in with my 100 grit file that you will see and I'll use the round part to push back and clean up any extra that's stuck on there as well I did not use my drill and I also didn't use any cuticle bits with it because I know most of you that do watch dip videos are doing it at home for yourselves or for your friends and family. So I wanted to use as many products that are easier to get your hands on and that you're more comfortable using. I also do have a curved cuticle pusher. So if you don't like, like the straight cuticle pusher because this is very a little bit more sharp in the beginning. And if you're not used to using them on yourself or clients, I highly recommend using a curved one. I do have that available on my website as well. And here you do see me using my nail file. Now you can use any other nail file that you find. I do like the manicure nail files simply because they are smaller, easier to use on shorter nails. And I love using them to clean off my nails. Now I'm going to use my buffer and just buff the nail, take off any other residue that's stuck on there, and then move on to the next nail and do the same thing. Push back with the cuticle, with the straight cuticle file, I mean, <laughs> with my straight cuticle pusher, and then use the nail file and then the buffer. I do this to all my nails. And then after I do this, if you do have some hang nails or just some really dry um, skin that's sticking on like it was on my finger I do go in there and I nip that off I try my best not to show too much of that on camera I know some of you don't like to see that personally I don't do that to my clients because it was illegal in the state of Illinois to do that to use nippers and nip off their cuticle um, their, hy um, their cuticle sorry I don't know what I was thinking about right now um, but I do that to myself because I have really bad cuticles um, I usually use a cuticle bit and cleanse it off so now I'm only going three-fourths of the way of the nail very close to the cuticle but not directly on top anything like that you do not want to touch the skin that is the number one thing to prevent so you see me going three-fourths way the reason I do this the main reason I do this is whenever I use glitter powders or any dark or very bright colors I love to use this method using a clear layer it is a lot easier to remove and I don't get any color tint left on my nail as well. Um, this is what works for me. You do not have to do this. If you have longer nails, I do recommend you watching previous dip videos that I watched for longer natural nails so that you can build a really nice apex. But since I have really, really short, bad nails, I just do this also for strength. And I only go, like I said, three-fourths of the way. Always clean up any glue left around the sides of the nail and on your free edge. If you don't clean this off and you wait towards the end, this can also have a big effect on lifting. So be very cautious, take the time, use a glue that takes a longer time to dry. Any brand, honestly, for dip is usually really good. But for me, I use this one, and I think I use I used to use one from Ally Express, but it keeps selling out since the two videos that I made ago. Um, I'm sure other people use it as well. So I just use what I have now. But any nail glue that doesn't say three minutes or, I mean, three seconds or five seconds to dry will be great. Anything that's too fast will dry too fast and won't give you enough time. So I just use the pipette, which is that plastic little thing that you see. That's personal preference. I love, love using that because it, I don't know, it's soothing to watch as well as I feel like it gets the whole nail coated evenly and I have less bumps. Now, I do separate it from the container. You see my Young Nails blue container on my left side of the screen. That is just clear acrylic, regular acrylic that I use. 
and you can just directly use it on there if you are using it for yourself but if you're using it for other people you want to separate it and whatever's left you want to toss or use to practice with yourself on a mannequin hand or whatever um just to prevent cross-contamination but for me personally i love using it like this and then by the time i finish the other hand i'll use up everything that i have if not i just toss it um, now I do the full nail with glue and I do very, very thin layers. Like I said, I will be doing two layers of glue with color and then that's it. I'm going to seal it with gel top coat. You can seal it with the sealer that it comes with in a dip kit, which is just also glue. Or you can do a clear seal layer of acrylic. That is your preference. I personally don't need to for this type of acrylic. Glam and Glitz is very pigmented and is very strong and would hold if I file the top. But since I'm doing very thin layers, there's no need for me to file the top. I just gently buff it so that the gel top coat I'm going to be using has something to grip on and will last a lot longer. I always like to use gel top coats. It lasts longer for me personally and a lot glossier. So that's what I like to use, but you can definitely use just clear acrylic on top and then uh, seal it with the sealer that it comes with or with another layer of glue. That's definitely fine. Um, another reason why I do the, the clear three-fourths of the way and not all the way to the close to the cuticle is because I want a very thin cuticle area so when the nail grows out it is not bulky and it's not so thick there. And like I said previously, whenever you have short nails, shorter than what's on your free edge where your skin kind of goes over your nail like you see on my fingers because I do bite my nails. That's the main reason why I started doing nails because I would always bite my nails. Um, I highly recommend clean them, clean them, clean them. Take your time, but at the same time, I know it's glue so it dries faster. So do one nail, clean it off really well before you put the powder. Don't just freak out and start putting the powder and then you have it all over your skin. And then by the time you're done, you're gonna have to file off all that and that can actually have lifting in the future because of all the extra filing you're doing. So you wanna just keep it as clean as possible. I know it's hard when you're starting, but enjoy the process and take your sweet time doing this the best advice i can give you is find the perfect glue to do dip nails for yourself it's a lot easier to do it on somebody else because i feel like you can move a lot faster um but just find the perfect glue that takes a little bit longer to dry now here i'm just using a makeup fan brush that i have that i use personally to do to clean off any leftover powder so that when you do the next layer it's not bulky and you don't damage your nail brush because when you use the glue and you go back in there and there's still powder in there, you can contaminate your glue. Um, another tip that I can definitely do to help not dry your, your glue and your brush is every time you're not using the glue, like right here I'm using it on the nail, but when I'm done, I put it in the bottle and I kind of press down so it's sealed so that the air can get in there and dry it and make it um, all clumpy and all that. Now, don't just put the glue brush back sorry I don't know why I'm having trouble talking right now <laughs> don't just put the glue uh, brush right on the bottle and then work on your nails because all those minutes you're not using it the air is getting in there and it is just nail glue so it's going to dry so that's the best tip I can give you when it comes to the glue bottle not drying um, I don't recommend fully sealing it and twisting it just enough to fully close it so that no air can get in there every time you're going and doing your nails and do one at a time. If you want to fully complete one nail, then do the other one. Definitely do that and just take your time and practice. But here, my nails are super, super short. They're really bad. I didn't even want to do the video because of how ugly they look right now. I, I never rarely, like I rarely do my natural short nails like that. I like to grow them out. But I am planning to do a two to three week fill process. So if you want to watch that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can watch me do a fill with this exact nail color. I can always color uh, gel polish on top if I don't like this pink anymore. But I do want to let you guys see that doing it this way does last two to three weeks, even longer on your nails if properly done, taking your time, really cleaning the nail, not touching the skin, not touching the cuticle. You want to leave a little bit of space. It's, it's not going to look fully covered i know most people like to have their polish all the way up there so it looks like it's literally at the tip but sometimes you need to give that little space so that you can prevent lifting especially if you're just learning or just doing your nails um, after i do that i wait till it fully dries and i put the activator on 
after this, the first layer of color because I already did clear and then I did one layer of color. I used the activator, then I did the second layer of color. And then finally, when I was done, I did the activator again. What the activator does is hardens the glue, which hardens the nails and it makes them ready to be filed and ready to be done. So I use it twice just because I don't, I wanna make sure that nothing in there is still gummy and gooey. I wanna make sure it's fully dry. So that's just what I do. Then I cleanse my nails with alcohol to remove any powder or acrylic left on the nail. And right here, you do see me using my manicure file and I just file the free edge and the sidewalls. I don't need to, like I said, file the top because they are not bumpy or have any lumps or anything like that. They're perfectly fine because I did them very, very thin, but you can go on top and file gently. Of course, you don't want to go crazy filing the top because you can end up removing chunks of it if not properly filed. Um, but if you use very thin layers of glue, you will be fine. You won't have to file a lot. So just clean off the sides. You wanna make sure nothing's stuck to the skin. You wanna make sure that, since my nails are really short, I wanted to really file down the sidewalls to make sure they don't look chunky, like bubbly. Um, because when they are short like this, they can end up looking very bubbly and chunky. So I wanna remove anything from the sides to make them look a little bit less thick. And then I clean, uh, clean off the nails and I put the gel top coat as well as my pineapple cuticle oil. You can find this on my website as well. This is really great. It gets in the skin and it's great for photos so it doesn't leave them shiny and glossy like that. And that's it for the video. I really hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, watching, watching, and I'll see you in my next video.